Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Productivity Open P1AM Industrial Arduino Program Structure. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So the Productivity Open or P1AM-100 Industrial Controller is actually programmed with the Arduino IDE or Integrated Development Environment. And we set this up last time. So let's take a look at the actual uh, program itself and the program structure. And basically we have um, two functions that are in every Arduino sketch or program as you wanted to call it. And the first one being the setup and the loop. So the setup is used to initialize your variables such as pin, modes, libraries, etc. And the setup function can only run once after every power up or reset of the P1AM industrial Arduino controller. So that means that any code that you have up here will only run through once itself. Now the loop function, it continuously uh, runs through a cycle and through your program, which is Sketch. And this will allow your program to then change and respond to your industrial Arduino controller. So this is where the, all the action takes place after you've initialized all those variables that you want uh, done. So if we look at the actual uh, productivity blocks, and we call that up by going Tools, and you see the productivity blocks. Now I have that up on my screen already, which is right here. And this is the last program that we did before, or the, the, the last program which was an example for blinking the light on our Arduino. And we can actually see that blinking light right here with our actual hardware. So there's my uh, P1AM-100 uh, productivity open. And you can see my program's actually running with our blinking light, my selector switch here. So I have my power supply powering it up to with 24 volt DC. And this is my entire system. So, and we're currently connected through our micro USB back into our computer so that we can program this unit. So this is the program we had last time. And with the productivity blocks, you'll see that again, we have a, a setup and then we have a loop function. So again, everything that we need to set, such as pins or anything else will be set up in our setup and our loop will continuously cycle through. Now let's just modify this program so that we use the uh, selector switch on our CPU. And if we turn on the selector switch, it will start doing the blinking. And if we turn it off, it'll turn the light off. So the first thing we'll do is add a, um, a control and we'll use an if else. And we just click and hold it and we drag it to where we want to place it. And there's a little loop right there, a little net notch, and that locks it into place. Then what we want to do is we take our, our condition for our if then, and our condition, if we go to our P1AM CPU, it will be our CPU switch. We'll grab it and we'll put that right there. Then what we'll do is take, um, if the switch is on and we take our blink, and we'll place this right here. You can see how all of the blocks are um, can only be um, put together in a certain way. So it makes programming very easy to do. And then for our else, so if the switch is on, we blink just like we did last time. And our else will be, we will set the CPU LED. And instead of high, which defaults to, We'll click that little down arrow and click it to low. So that is our program. So you can see here that if the switch is on, then we blink. If the switch is off, we set it off. And again, that's my setup. So I don't have any setup on this particular program itself. And then we have a loop and it loop goes through here. And it continuously cycles through, checking for the switch being on or off. So let's just save that. And then what we'll do is verify. When we verify, it comes back and it will actually then populate what we have in here. So you can see here during my setup, 
and then I have my loop that checks for the pin and if it's on we blink else it turns it off so that is my entire program and now once we have it verified and the beauty of using productivity blocks is that it will actually um, ensure that your syntax in your code here is just um, fine so then what we want to do is upload to our controller and once we upload to our controller and when that's done then we can test our program to ensure that that's working fine and you can see here my uploads now done on my actual controller my switch here is actually off so let's just turn that on and as soon as I turn it on my light on my LED starts blinking so this is exactly working exactly as we planned so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below if you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.